Yo guys, what's up? So we have Thursday night football between the Niners and the Seahawks. So it's a pretty good game. I got three plays for you guys that I really like in this game. We're going to hop into that in one second. First, let's recap how we did on Monday night because we killed these plays right here. You guys can see if you guys watch the video, a ton of people were commenting, a ton of people made money, man. We basically cash this play within the first half, really. Um, so easy. So make sure to drop a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. So don't miss any of the free pick videos I drop for you guys pretty much every single day for college football and NFL. But not only did we cash the YouTube play right here for free, we also went undefeated in VIP other than the Derek Carr promo. So Monday night was a great night for us. But overall, all last weekend was a great weekend. We went up 13 and a half units in VIP just last weekend alone. If you guys do not know what that means, that means you guys can see it on the screen right here. A unit is how much money you put down on each play. So people that are in my VIP, if you have $20 units, that means you put down 20 bucks on every play I send you. You made 270 bucks profit last weekend alone. And then you guys could read the rest. 675 right here, 1350. And again, we were like 10 passing yards away from cashing over two grand right here on the hundred dollar betters. But guys, I know a ton of people talk about, you know, their VIP, blah, blah, blah. Bro, I made this channel to help you guys for as little cost as possible. I want to make it free for you guys. I want you guys to make money. So that is what I did. VIP here on this channel is completely free for your first month. So the first month is completely free for you guys. You guys can test it out, get in. All you have to do it is so easy. It is so simple. You just have to follow simple instructions, guys. You just have to go download Parlay Play right here. It's this app. You see the logo, all that. Download Parlay Play. Use code GHOSTLOCKS right here. All caps, no spaces. You guys look at the screen right here. Type in code GHOSTLOCKS before you deposit deposit at least 10 bucks on the app and then drop a comment on this video saying hey i signed up on the app hey i deposit on the app just let me know so i could send you the link to the free month of vip and then from there on out once you're in vip you get text messages every day with my vip plays and then you just have to lock them in and watch yourself print a ton of money but it is so simple guys the amount of people that just sign up on the app don't deposit or they put in the wrong code and mess it up it's so easy so simple just take your time download the app use code ghostlocks right here use the correct code and then deposit you have to deposit at least 10 bucks guys okay i am doing this as a favor for you guys for free for a month i'm doing all the research i'm telling you guys exactly what to do helping you guys make money you just have to deposit at least 10 bucks with code ghostlocks on parlay play the links are down below go get on the app get your free hundred bucks it's a hundred dollar deposit match as well so you guys should just deposit 100 bucks get your free hundred bucks Get your free month of VIP and let's lock in together, boys, and keep making more money. We are up over 50 units on the football season so far, hoping after this week we're up at least 60 units, but it's been great. It's going to continue to be great. I'm hyped. Let's hop into the video. Let's talk about these plays now. So this Niners-Seahawks game, we're going to talk about the Niners first. I have two plays for the Niners, and then we'll go over and talk about the um, Seahawks play that I have as well. The first play we're going to be talking about is none other than Jordan Mason. We are slamming his over of 84 and a half rushing yards. So you guys can see he's hit this four out of his last five games. He's been playing really well this season. The only game he missed was against the Rams. He had 77 super close he would have hit if it weren't for matthew stafford coming back if you guys watched that game it was a great game they couldn't run the ball towards the end because they had to pass to make up um for the you know lead that they gave up to the rams but he really should have hit right there and he should have hit every single you know play so or every single week so far but he's still been playing really really well again obviously playing the seahawks in this game thursday night football prime time game if you guys don't know the seahawks are not a good running defense they have given up on average 110 yards to running backs per game so far in the season obviously that includes backup running backs and everything like that but the great thing about the niners is they don't split time in the backfield jordan mason is the lead back he should get pretty much every single handoff except maybe one or two handoffs maybe to like kyle use check or something like that but other than that this guy's getting every handoff he should get at least 17 carries if not 20 plus if they're winning the game you know towards the end he gets a couple garbage time carries which i expect he will because i do expect the niners to win this game so he should have at least 17 if not 20 carries in this game and if he does going against the seahawks defense that is giving up 110 rushing yards a game 
two running backs, which is, by the way, eighth worst in the league. I really like Jordan Mason's line right here of 84 and a half. Now, I don't know if he's going to kill this line. I don't think he's going to come out here in a you know in-division rival game and drop 150 rushing yards and go crazy like he did against the Jets week one. But I do think playing for his position at this point, McCaffrey's coming back soon, it looks like. So this guy needs to continue to keep you know, building on his name, building on his resume, and he needs to produce, and he knows that. And the Niners know that as well. The Niners know that if they want to win this game, they need to run the ball well, which they should be able to against the Seahawks. So we're going over of 84 and a half yards right there. And again, he's hit four out of his five games. He really should have hit all five games. So I really like the way Jordan Mason's been running the ball. I like his matchup in this game. So that's where we're going to go there first. And then the second play, I really like this play as well. Uh, George Kittle. So I wanted to take his over on receiving yards, but then I go and look, his receptions is at four. I really like this line of four. You guys, if you're watching this right now, go lock this in now because this line is going to bump to four and a half before kickoff. I almost guarantee it. Every time I've ever said that, it pretty much happens 99% of the time. So go get this line right now while it's still at four because you guys can see out of his last four games, he's at least tied every game. So I think in a situation like this, even if he doesn't hit, I think worst case scenario, he pushes, gets four, and we don't lose money. We don't you know, make extra money, but we don't lose money. And so I really like the fact that we have the opportunity to push and still not lose money off of that. So I really like the flat line of four receptions right there. So I really like George Kittle in this game. Obviously, he's been playing really well. He just had eight receptions against the Cardinals last week. Now playing the Seahawks, this is a great matchup. Seahawks have given up the fifth most receiving yards to tight ends on the season. So obviously, they are not very good at defending the tight end position. So I really, really like George Kittle in this game, kind of overall. I think he might even score a touchdown. I think he should have a lot of yards. Now, if you guys are watching this, by the time this line is bumped at four and a half, then maybe you guys, you know, switch over and take his receiving yards over at 50 and a half. Again, I think he's going to hit both of these lines pretty easily. But even just to be safe, if you guys can get four receptions, that is my favorite play. But again, if it does bump to four and a half, I would probably just take 50 receiving yards. I know it's going to bump. I know a ton of people are going to be asking me, hey, it bumped. What should I do? Just pivot over and take his receiving yards over at 50 and a half. But for right now, while it's still sitting at four receptions, I'm definitely taking George Kittle. Primetime game George Kittle against a bad tight end defense. Four receptions, I'm taking that every single day of the week. And then the third play I have, going over to the Seahawks side, we're going to be taking Jackson Smith. And then I'm not even going to pronounce it, bro. I'm not even going to do it. Jackson. Okay, we're taking Jackson under five receptions. This line just seems oddly high to me. I don't know if they know something we don't. And I haven't been paying too much attention to what his line has been every single week. So maybe they just have been putting his line at five every single week. Um, if so, good for us. That means it's not like some weird, they know something we don't. But his line at five, I really, really like the under here, guys. You guys can see he's hit two times so far against Detroit in that crazy primetime shootout. I believe Geno Smith had like 38 completions or something like that. And so he had eight of them. That was a great matchup. Everybody knew that he was going to have a good game. They can't cover, you know, slot guys, or whatever. I really like Jackson in that game. And so great matchup crazy shootout. He had eight receptions. He hit. It happens, right? New England, crazy overtime game. He had like 17 or 18 targets in that game. So he hit right there. But other than that, every normal game, he had two against Denver. He had three against Miami. He just had four last week against the Giants. His line at five is heavily inflated just because of these two games. I think that's way too high of a line. You guys can go look. DK Metcalf, last time I checked, and I'm pretty sure right now, is still at five receptions as well. So they have his line the same as DK Metcalf. I don't see that happening, especially in a primetime game. The the Niners, believe it or believe it or not, have been playing really well against wide receivers so far this season. A lot of people are talking trash about their secondary, saying their secondary is the worst part of their team, but they have a great team. So even though it's the worst part of their team, it's still a good team. My favorite thing about this play right here of going under, there has not been, there's only been two wide receivers so far this season that have gotten more than five receptions. And it was the first game of the season when uh, um, Al Lazard and Garrett Wilson had six receptions. So even they both barely went over five receptions and it was the first game of the season. Other than that, every wide receiver has not had more than five receptions on the Niners. They literally haven't let it happen since then. Justin Jefferson didn't get more than five. Uh, Marvin Harrison Jr. had like two and JJ did only have like four. So every single receiver so far since that first game 
has not had more than five receptions. So this is kind of like the George Kittle situation where I think worst case scenario, he might get up to five and then it's a push. We don't lose money off of that. So I don't mind that play at all whatsoever. I really like his under a five right there a lot. The fact it's the same as DK Metcalf when they haven't allowed a receiver to do it since the first game of the season. I love that play right there. And there's not a lot of plays I like for the Seahawks, but that is one that absolutely stood out to me that I really liked. So these are the three plays we're going to go with for the Thursday night game you guys can see jordan mason over george kittle over and then jackson under but other than that guys make sure to drop a like on this video make sure to subscribe to the channel again you don't want to miss any of the free videos free plays i drop for you guys every single day for college and nfl but last last but not least guys again make sure to get in vip bro it is such a waste of time going through the research trying to figure out how to make money sports betting on your own i'm literally here to help you for free so quick so easy again all you have to do it is code ghost locks on parlay play deposit 10 bucks drop a comment that simple and then i got you guys and even if you are already on parlay play and you can't get that then go ahead use the code on chalkboard or sleeper same deal deposit 10 bucks drop a comment and i got you guys the only difference is this is code ghost so just look at the code on the screen with the app if you get one of these apps use one of my promo codes and deposit on the app with my code i will send you guys a link to a free month of vip it is that easy it is that simple just make sure you're using the right code on the right app and actually depositing but other than that guys those are the plays for the games on thursday night good luck with all your bets and i'll catch the next video